I'm Kyle, tech rep with Indian Motorcycle. Today we're going to change the oil on an Indian Scout. So we've got our oil change kit. Comes with four quarts, the right quantity of Indian Motorcycle 15W60, which is a 10,000 mile interval oil. It also comes with our replacement oil filter and two crush washers for the drain plugs. So let's get started. So before we start, we want to make sure we're on a clean level surface and we've got a well ventilated area since we'll be starting the bike and make sure to wear safety glasses. So we've ran the bike and got it up to temperature. We've let it cool off enough for us to work on. So now we're going to go ahead and drop the oil. We've got our oil pan and put a rag in there to reduce splashback when we take out the drain plugs. On this bike there are two drain plugs, but they're close enough to use one pan. So now we're going to remove the drain plugs. We're just going to break them loose. Now we can get our drain plan underneath and fully remove the plugs. Once we've removed the drain plugs, we want to inspect them for any marring. And then we'll replace the crush washer with the new one that came in the oil change kit. When removing the oil filter, it's not necessary, but may be helpful to remove the horn. When installing the new oil filter, use some clean oil to lubricate the O-ring and reinstall. We'll hand tighten it until it touches the mating surface of the engine and then go a full turn past that. We've replaced the washers on the drain plugs, so now we're going to reinstall. And torque to spec. Now we're going to remove our dipstick and oil fill tube. Insert our funnel and add our oil. Now that we've installed the new oil filter and reinstalled the drain plugs, plus filled it with the correct amount of oil, We'll restart the bike and get it back up to temperature before we check the oil. So we've ran the bike for 30 seconds. Now we're going to check the oil. Remove the dipstick. Wipe the dipstick clean. Reinstall. And remove again. And this one's right to the fill line. Wipe again. And reinstall. When checking the oil level, make sure the bike is upright. So now that we're done, we want to clean up any oil that may be left over or spilled on the bike or on the floor. Make sure to dispose of your oil properly. And if you have any other questions or need information, check out IndianMotorcycle.com.